एवरीवन आई एम प्रोफेसर नीरो मेहता फ्रॉम एलजी स्टोर टेक्नोलॉजी एंड इंजीनियरिंग इन टुडेस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सब्जेक्ट कॉल्ड ऑटोमोबाइल सिस्टम डिजाइन इन टुडेस सेशन वी विल गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट टॉपिक कॉल्ड डिजाइन ऑफ स्टीयरिंग सिस्टम सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज द स्टीयरिंग सिस्टम स्टीयरिंग सिस्टम इज नथिंग बट अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ लिंकेजेस एंड मैकेनिज्म व्हिच हेल्प अस टू हैव आवर व्हीकल टू बी इन डिजायर्ड पाथ और डिजायर्ड पोजीशन that is called our different kind of a steering system so let's let's talk about or let's discuss about this steering system in in depth here you can see this is the steer a basic type of a steering system in which you can have a steering in your hand or you can say a steering handle in your hand which is connected to our front wheel vehicle or front wheels with the help of different linkages clear that could be a tie rod that could be a gear mechanism that could be a rack and pinion or any kind of a mechanism which will ultimately pivot our wheels to have that desired course of a our path line okay so first what are the different adjustment we have to make for the steering system steering system is nothing but a combination of three system one is suspension system steering system itself and ultimately chassis so when we are designing or deciding a steering system we have to consider all three of this components one are suspension then are uh, chassis and ultimately a design of steering if i am applying a steering system of any of the wheel the system should always be like this that it can easily uh, have that independent motion to both of our wheel not a single wheel but to both of our wheel so it can facilitate our uh, motion to have that uh, no, uh, have that uh, transmission of any disturbance force without transmitting to our driver or a control second thing this absorb or this obstacle shouldn't be transferred to another wheel so that one wheel can perform its uh operation without having any kind of trouble so while designing the suspension system or while designing the steering system both we have to consider both simultaneous you can't design suspension system without considering steering and you can't design steering system without considering our suspension system i hope you got this point so if i am designing a steering system for a front wheel then suspension system should always going to be independent suspension system so it can have that independent motion while even turning while even driving clear so in next slide we have talked about different types of suspension steering and what part of suspension steering clear here you can see uh, one is what are the different part of suspension steering so that is a steering wheel then you will have a steering this is a basic type of a or primitive type of a steering system in which a steering arm then a steering gear box which will provide that steering ratio or gear ratio then we have a drag link ultimately a, a arm or you can say the davis or pitman's arm here uh, then steering knuckle arm and ultimately it will connect it to our linkage mechanism so that we can have that uh, link over uh, moving over our steering system there are two types of steering kinematics or dynamics we will consider one is ackerman steering system or another is davis steering system we will uh, uh, get into depth of this ackerman and uh, davis steering system in next uh, video but in this session we will talk about different types of suspension or steering system clear there are several types of steering system we will have there are different types of steering system one and main particular steering system is a mechanical steering system and another one is our power steering clear there are two types of uh, steering system which we'll going to have here one is power steering and another is mechanical steering system there are different requirement for different uh, steering system mechanical steering system also called a manual steering system another is power steering in manual there are two types of steering system we will have three type of steering system we will have rack and pinion which will have a, a gear uh, combination of rack and pinion another worm and worm wheel and ultimately a 
ball and nut type of a steering system or you can say screw and nut type of steering system which will have lesser efficiency as well as at the same time we have to provide much effort to control this type of or this type of manual steering system which are basically a mechanical basic uh, steering system in power steering there are two types of steering system mainly one is hydraulic steering system and one is electrical steering system now let's discuss about this what is the difference between this uh, manual hydraulic and electric uh, steering system uh, in manual steering system all the effort will be transmitted as a true effort in case of hydraulic system the hydraulic system or a plunger and arc plunger and hydraulic assembly will provide sufficient amount of boost to our effort so you have to provide lesser effort compared to mechanical system in electric system now electric system could be two types of also one it could be a mechanical electric system combination of mechanical and electrical as well as combination of hydraulic and mechanical how so in electrical system impulse or you can say there there couldn't be direct connection between there shouldn't be a direct connection between our linkage as well as spinal mechanism of our steering system in that case steering is dis, uh, disconnected and steering is only sending a signal to our steering mechanism and mechanism could be actuate either it could be a mechanical steering system or hydraulic steering system in hydraulic steering system rather we will have this combination of our plunger and cylinder which will provide that sufficient amount of booster to our effort so once again there are three types of steering system one is mechanical or manual steering system where we have to provide all the effort and which has lower efficiency second one is hydraulic uh, second one major criteria is power steering in which hydraulic is one and electrical is one hydraulic steering system we will have which will have a hydraulic booster but the ultimate output it could be a, a rack and pinion worm and worm wheel a reciprocating or a, a hydrostatic kind of a steering system in the case of electric steering system it is rack and pinion but it will provide that signal to our steering system i hope you got this point clear there are two types of uh, uh, final drive in that it could be a rack and pinion or rack driver pinion driver or a column driver system in case of this electrical uh, steering system i hope you got this uh, three types of steering system this is steering dynamics now that was talking about how we will perform the system clear now thing is how to design the system how this force will going to work how this effort will going to convert how your linkage is will going to design how you will decide a length and angle made by this linkage so first thing is that this linkage mechanism is called steering dynamics in which we have to design steering angle correct steering angle as well as depending on our wheel track and wheel base clear so our input is wheel track and wheel base on depending on that we have to design our uh, steering system which can easily provide us a true steering effort what is this true steering angle when you are maneuvering your car or when you are driving your vehicle the effort of yours should be transferred in such a way that if you want to provide that particular degree angle to our vehicle that it should transfer that particular degree of angle to our vehicle only depending on our wheel track and wheel base for a different wheel for a different vehicle which have a different wheel track and wheel base the mechanism or a, a design of this uh, steering dynamics will going to be different so here while designing the steering system our first criteria is to decide even before deciding its mechanism whether it is manual or whether it is power whether it is mechanical whether it is rack and pinion our this criteria is to decide our steering dynamics and how you are going to decide we are deciding by the help of davison or ackermans our, our steering system design so in next particular video we will going to discuss about different types of steering system and what are the different criteria in and afterward we will going to design this steering dynamics of our steering system clear so 
in this particular session we have discussed about different uh, aspect in our particular chapter about the design of steering system in which we will going to discuss first our step is to discuss about different types of steering system in next video we will going to discuss about one or two types of uh, steering system and then a third video we will going to discuss about uh, types of our mechanism whether it is davis mechanism or icarus style mechanism Clear? I hope you understand each and every aspect about uh, this video or particular this video. If you have any doubt regarding this particular video, you can directly contact me. Clear? In this particular video, I have taken each and every aspect from a machine design by RS Kurmi as well as auto design by RB Gupta Satya Prakashan. Thank you. Thank you so much. We are ending our video here. Thank you.